Hey guys, what's up, people? Welcome to the session. My name is Anup, and this is Vidantu. I welcome you all to Vidantu's ninth and tenth English channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm here to make your day a little better. I'll tell you why, people. You know your exams are coming up in the month of April, but you're still worried about or thinking about, still worried about or still thinking about what to do, how to approach your examinations. I'm telling you one thing, people: the next twenty minutes of your life is going to help you save the next one and a half month of your life. I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to tell you one simple strategy, a simple, time-tested, absolutely wonderful strategy to help you prepare for your boards. All right, so listen carefully. But give me just ten to fifteen minutes of your time, and trust me, it's going to be well worth it. So, without wasting much more time, welcome to the session again. Let us get into the last fifty-six days. I don't think the time by the time this video has come out, probably it's a little lesser than that. But yes, top fifty, the fifty-six days strategy for your term two examination to help you prepare for your term two examinations. That's what we're going to do here, right? So, I'm going to talk about physics alone over here. I'm not talking about other subjects because I am no expert. If I want to teach you chemistry, you would probably learn common salt as H two SO four. Yes, that's a burn on Anuba map because she was my teacher. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it, guys. What exactly is the you no know, the approach that you have to do over here? First of all, for your uh, physics examination, guys, you know you need to know what your syllabus is. Then there's there's only two chapters that you have. One is electricity, and the other is magnetism or magnetic effects of electric current. These are the only two chapters that you have. Now, please understand what are the kind of questions that is asked in these examination. All right. Now the exam dates in itself is not announced yet. It's going to happen in the month of April. That's all we know. Exams are going to start in the month of April. April twenty sixth is when your exams are going to start. When exactly science exam? The date sheet has not been announced yet. As you might already know, your uh, date sheets of your practical exams have been announced. That would be starting from March second, if I'm not wrong. That's when your practical exams are starting. So good luck for that. But if you talk about your, uh, you know, board exams, that is your actual term two subjective examination, they have not announced yet. So knowing the date is not something that you can, uh, you know, you can go with right now. But I need you guys to know the exam pattern. That is very important. So the exam pattern, in the sense, I need you to understand that there are short answer type. Questions and long answer type questions. You need to know that in short answer type questions, then you also have very long answer type questions as well. Short answer type questions would be from you know uh, from two two to three marks, and long answer type maybe three to four marks, and uh, very long answer type questions would be from five marks. That's how it's going to be. So two to five marks is the range of questions that you have. Now while you're studying, while you're studying for both electricity and magnetism, you need to keep that clearly in mind that if I, for example, if I were to study about and working of dc motor now dc motor is a huge topic and it's a very important one as well so you have to classify that as either long answer or very long answer type question so when you're studying a chapter when you're studying a certain topic you have to in your mind you have to figure out that okay this can be asked as a very short type of question or this can be asked as a long answer type question you need to have that clarification of that classification in your head the reason why i'm telling you is this people there is no point For example, uh, I'll just give you a very simple example. For example, there's this simple formula that you learn in, uh, uh, you know, in what to say, in uh, uh, electricity. That is, uh, you know, current is nothing but rate of flow of charge, right? That's a very simple formula, and you use it everywhere that you, uh, you know, uh, pretty much every every numerical, not not all the numericals, but in a lot of numericals, you're going to be using it. Now, is it wise to ignore this? Even though it's a very sum small formula, is it wise to ignore it? No, because indirectly it's going to help you with your numericals, and numericals will be for three to five marks. So you need to classify. You need to understand that you have to set importance. Now there are few formulas that you might not need at all, or you know there are few things that that not be that might not be that important. So don't pay too much attention on that. But what I would say is that people, since there's only two chapters and there are not many topics left. Treat every topic as important, all right? Because you never know where the question is going to come from. There's only two chapters, so you never know where the exam, where, where the, uh, you know, the uh, where CBSC board is going to ask the questions from. So be thorough with everything. Don't just uh, leave anything for chance. Don't leave anything for, uh, for the goodness of grace. Let let's God bless me and then I uh, do its goods. Don't do that. I right, don't do that to yourself because you have good enough time. Utilize it well and treat every topic as important and make sure that you classify in your mind mind that you know these are short short answer type questions. These are long answer type questions and make sure you uh, you know prepare according to that. So if it's a five mark question, for example, if you talk about DC motor, just by drawing or you know writing the working of it is not going to work. You have to know. 
what is the ax- uh, the principle behind it you need to know the exact diagram you need to know you need to show the diagram the you know the, the direction of current everything has, has to be you know everything you have to know everything you need to know how to answer that as well so accordingly you have to prepare your uh, preparations as well you have to do your preparations as well if it's a five mark question then obviously you have to go with the in detailed explanation of everything you can't just you know write a small part of it and just say that uh, you know why are they not giving marks that is not that is not correct so you you have to be prepared completely all right exactly guys 56 days is what you have all right counting today i believe you have 56 days in total 56 to 55 days is what you have so a feb is almost done you have the whole month of march and uh, pretty much the whole month of april also because april 26 is when your exams are starting but don't assume that oh i have so much time because during this time you have your pre-boards you have your practical examinations going on also so <laughs> so whatever you're thinking no right now so 56 days sir don't because you still have your you know exams also going on at the meantime you have to prepare for that also you have to give some time for that as well so you will you know it'll suck up some of your time so you have to be you know mentally prepared for this that uh you know 56 days is not exactly 56 days you have to be mentally prepared and make your timetable according to that now if you were to give yourself exactly guys exactly two to three hours that's all i'm asking for two to three hours not only for physics in this two to three hours you can cover pretty much all the subjects i'm talking about at least two to three subjects per day 56 days out of those 56 days people i would say the first 40 days that you have you have to keep keep it for your preparation the last 16 days that you have that should be your basically you know your revision part of it so the first 40 days that i'm not just talking about physics here people this can be applied for any subject not just for physics so within that 40 days you can prepare for all the subject because there are only two chapters in physics guys two chapters would hardly take you a week one week you're done one week is more than enough for you to complete all the chapters in physics because there are only two chapters left but i am talking about all the subjects here giving equal time for all the subjects so if you are spending about two to three hours every day 40 days for all the subjects you can aram se cover all the subjects your entire preparations would be done and the last 16 days that you have should be only reserved for revision and nothing else so two to three hours per day is all i'm asking for so what are you supposed to do in these uh, you know 40 days i'll tell you this also the first two days people the first two days you need to read your ncrt so if you're starting for monday monday tuesday ncrt that's all one day for electricity one day for magne- magnetism that's it i'm talking about physics alone over here you can apply this again 40 days this is this is a six day plan that's all 40 days for all the subjects i'm talking about so for the first six days you can leave it for physics alone so here we have our first two days is for ncrt reading and understanding your ncrt that is very very important guys you need to know everything every look and corner of ncrt you should know it by heart you should know it at the tip of your finger because that is going to help you a lot to boost your scores you will not end up losing all these one mark two mark which adds up to be a lot one mark at that time won't seem like much but when all adds up together you'll end up losing a lot of marks so don't do that to yourself so first two days give it for ncrt alone read your ncrt thoroughly keep it clean make sure you read it make notes on it the next two days that you when you're reading it try to make notes of it as well not try make notes of it as well so for example if you're reading about let's say you're reading about electromagnetism once you've read that paragraph write in your own short terms in your own words one line or two line about what you've understood because that is going to later help you in your revision the last 16 days no that is that notes is definitely going to help you because during that last 16 days i would i don't think you'll have the patience to go through the your entire ncrt once again so it'd be better if you can do that second days the the third and the fourth day should be for your in-text question the questions that are given in the you know in your exam you know in your textbook at the back of your textbook and exemplar questions as well try to solve that the third and the fourth day about you know the third and the fourth day make sure you're doing that your your in-text question exemplar questions of both the again in uh, magnetism though there are no numericals at all you have only numericals from electricity chapter so practice the in-text question and exemplar questions for the third and the fourth day the fifth day you have to practice your you know your uh, pvqs your previous year question papers your short answers long answers very long answer questions practice all of that during the fifth day that should be there only so take up to you know in fact if you want because you have 40 days left you can make that from uh what to say four to even uh what to say fourth and fifth day is fifth and sixth day you can uh, keep it for that so pvqs that is your previous year question papers the short answers long answers very long answers what are the different type of questions that can be asked from electricity chapter 
cover it all up now in fact is see these two days so you can see if you are if you are a very fast reader no two days is more than enough to cover both the chapters it is not necessary that you have to only stick to electricity you can complete both the chapters if you are a fast reader you can do both or if you are pretty slow if you want to take your time and read it it's absolutely fine take the first two days to read ncrt of electricity chapter alone right last day guys the last and the final day you have it should be for your mock test make sure if you can uh, you know the sixth and the seventh day give it mock test practice only you know take all the questions that can be possibly asked from this chapter from pre vqs take you know give yourself exactly one and a half hour time and try to solve those question within that time frame given this is how you practice uh, you get a good understanding of the concept and more importantly it'll give you the confidence that you need while you are giving your examination so the seventh day that you have should be for mock test and this is one pro tip guys my pro tip for you guys would be this see some of you guys know what would happen is that i know about you guys but sometimes what happens is that you might know the concept but once you enter into the examination your brain completely becomes black your brain starts to think are tune kya padha what did you do what did you learn last night your brain will start asking this stupid questions Like why? What what were you doing last night? Why couldn't you study? Even though you've spent all of your night, you know you'll probably spend the entire night studying. Your brain will still ask this question, and you can't, you know, take your brain out and start beating it up. So what can you do at that time? Here's what you have to do. See, guys, you know that level of anxiety you can control it only if you are prepared for your exam. You know your exam situation, and that can happen only if you are doing it every every day or so. So what I would suggest you to do is while you're doing this mock test, no, like I told you, give yourself exa- exactly one and a half hour time because that's what you get during your examination. So give yourself exactly one and a half hour time, and try to solve these questions within that one and a half time hour time itself, and make sure you keep an exam environment around you. It should be like you know, it should be like you're giving an actual examination. So do not go around and drink. Water. water don't go uh you know go eat snacks don't go uh trouble your mom and your brother and all that is not the time for it because while you're giving this examination it should be like you're giving your actual boards so if if you can take it one step further ask your brother ask your mother to be the invigilator ask them to watch you ask them to keep an eye on you that you don't cheat or you don't move around that way you get that exam fear and that will help you to you know to uh, you la- you'll understand how to behave under that st- stress you have to imagine that you're in an exam hall that is how you prepare yourself mentally and uh, you know that'll give you a good advantage in your examination because you're already used to that that sort of fear that sort of uh, environment because it's again guys i keep saying this it's like riding a bicycle when you when you're riding a bicycle very for the very first time you might end up falling you might end up hurting yourself next time when you get on it again you might end up falling again you might get up, you know uh, end up getting hurt uh, you know but then once you get hurt you know that this is the maximum pain it can give me right then you gain that confidence then you don't fear you don't fear about falling down you don't have that fear of falling down you learn to bicycle you know like that that's how you know life is also like that you need to get used to that fear you need to understand that exam hall is a different environment altogether you are all these days you are chilling with your friends you are making fun of your friends you are chilling with your uh, you know your parents and all that but all of a sudden everyone is serious everyone is looking around you know uh, what is that did you learn that did you learn that tune wo pada tune ye pada ye concept aayega kya all of these kind of questions would only increase your anxiety so make sure you keep yourself calm during that time and this is one of the best practice that you can do to make that better in magnetism also exact same thing people the first two days you can do it for ncrt so that's after the first seven days so one week for electricity one week for magnetism 14 days done done both the chapters done and dusted that's it 14 days done same thing practice intex question exemplar questions then practice the long answer type questions short answer type questions the all the hand rules be very thorough with it practice the hand rules that is very important right hand rule left hand rule right and thumb rule be very very thorough with it very very important because you might end up getting confused over there and you make you make and you end up making silly silly mistakes over there even during the menti quiz i've seen so many silly mistakes so please don't do that to yourself because this is your chance to prove everyone around you that they are wrong utilize it they should never talk about you ever again nor i you know nor behind you not in front of you all right is your chance get hold of it all right and finally guys take mock mock text paper just like how i told you before practice it and you're good to go all right people and then yes the last 16 days revision during a revision again pyqs previous year question papers again mock test papers again whatever notes you made while you're reading your ncrt read that again 
and apart from that make sure that you are also doing a lot of what bhajans pray to god <laughs> kidding na you have to but what i'm trying to say is this apart from pyqs also try to do as many sample papers as possible all right sample papers along with that if you want you can do some bhajans also that's okay because mental piece is important so you can do some bhajans as well all right i'm adding that also <laughs> all right in the sense guys see you need to you need to stay calm and if um, you know if praying makes you calm then do it but whatever it is stay calm and give your very best all the very best of luck guys i hope that as promised this 15 minutes was helpful it gives you a good uh, you know uh, at least now you know what to do now again guys this two hours of your time you don't have to do it at, uh, all at once one hour in the morning one hour in the night one hour in the evening you can do it that way also at the end of the day i want you guys to study for at least one to two hours two to three hours minimum you have to do at least two to three hours so every day self study apart from your tuitions apart from vedanta class apart from your vedanta live sessions everything apart from all of this apart from youtube and all of that you need to spend about two to three hours every day all right so yeah people that's all for today thank you for joining i hope you have learned something new i hope you have enjoyed the session if you did let me know in the comment section below thanks a lot for joining catch you guys in the next one take care stay safe and if you guys want to enroll into drona batches guys there is an amazing offer going on right now the first 50 students of vedant whoever is enrolling in will be getting an amazing deal right now so what if it goes go to the description of the video i'll just show you very quickly what it's like this is not the actual price right now it's completely different now let me just open up youtube thank you youtube ji thank you one second cool jasim sim go to vedant 9th and 10th english channel Don't go for Hindi and all. Like Hindi is for kids. English is for men and uh, women. Abhishek says yes, sister. That's all. You're gonna kill me. All right. So go to the video part of it. So right now you're watching this video. So whatever video you're watching, um, oh yeah, this is one of the videos that came out recently for top twenty questions of uh, you know electricity. So you can go through that as well as uh, that one as well. So if you go to uh, sorry. <laughs> I just unlike my own comment. All right, so go to uh, the description, guys. Go to the description and go to Drona class uh, enrollment. This link will take you to Drona classes. Drona is for the complete revision of all of your subjects for all the you know for physics, chemistry, bio, math, English, social science. And the first fifty students get an amazing opportunity to get the course for two thousand three hundred rupees. And this is valid only for today for the next twelve hours. That's all. Only the first fifty students will get it. You have a chance right now, people. The seats are filling up like crazy. So. So because yesterday we had this and yesterday so it it went beyond 50 so today also we thought we'll have it again so 2300 rupees that means you are actually getting 34% off 50% off up to 1000 rupees is what you're getting over here on top of that if you're using amazon uh, pay or if you're using mobiquick that's about 10% and 15% over there as well so you're getting it at a very 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 low price Until the end of your examination, until April end, these classes will be going on. So you have an amazing opportunity right now to study with whom? With the best of the best teacher, Amrit sir, Amit sir, Anubha ma'am, Abhishek sir, Ankana ma'am, and Arshpriyam sir. These are the star teachers who are going to be teaching. Whoever is teaching that with our ninth and Hindi channel, they will be your teachers, and you know how they are. You know their level of teaching. You would definitely thoroughly enjoy it, and more importantly, you will definitely do better in your boards. I guess so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something new thank you for joining catch you guys in the next session until the next time we meet this is Anup signing off for the day have a great day ahead see you soon peace out take care enjoy yourself bye bye